Howdy YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Gunman Raw, mate. What's cracking? <laughs> so yeah, we've got a full respray on this patrol. I've been on it all day. I was just talking to myself for the last five minutes and then I dropped the camera and the battery fell out so I'm gonna throw that footage out. So it's good to know that I was just sitting around talking to myself. me feel really good about my mental health knowing that I was talking to myself for the last five minutes on some footage that no one's ever going to watch or see or hear just going to sit there on my computer until the AI takes control until the AI overlords take control of every single what are you talking about going this person shit man this guy's off his head eh give me back the old gunman Okay, so, what was I talking about in that intro? I was talking about the clear, so we mixed the syrup and we put it in the gun. And the clear tape that I'm spraying here is PPG LVC 105. And the key thing about this clear is to get that first coat on nice and skinny. You don't want any excessive orange peel. You don't want to put too much material on. Especially on this first coat, it's very, very important. And I also just finished saying, um, generally I'll go for a full closed coat on my first coat of clear, right? A closed coat meaning the clear is closed over the base coat, right? So that you can't see any base coat. But, with this clear here, if there is one or two little bits, it's uh, not the end of the world. If there is one or two little bits of uh, base coat that you can see, I would rather that than overload the first coat. You always, it always happens like when you're doing a white pearl, uh, you, you get so many coats of um, colour down or pearl and everything, you know, you got, well on this one because it was a bare metal reef spray, we got epoxy primer, we got white wet on wet, Three coats of uh, white. Oh, sorry, no, I did two because the wet on wet was white. Yeah. Um. Anyway, two coats of uh, two coats of colour, two coats of um, pearl, and then you get a black dot. Ah! I hate it. I'm wondering if I could do like. Are you gonna reach? If it's not tangled up, it does reach. And I take that up so I can actually keep breathing. It's always a good thing to breathe. Yeah, I like breathing. I've always liked breathing my whole life. What are your thoughts on breathing, guys? Uh, maybe I should... Maybe I should leave the comedy to funny people. Stick to painting, mate. Stick to painting and smoking crack. Stick to what you're good at, Gunny. Are we gonna get it? Yes, we get it. We got it. We got it. Yeehaw! Woo! 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 One tiny little black speck is now a tiny little white speck. Oh, isn't it so good just to have such a killer setup here? Everything you would ever want. Um, yes, baby. <laughs> and yeah, we continue. We interrupt this broadcast. Where were we? This is where we were. That's right. If there's a spot or two where you can see through to the base code on your first coat of clear, don't worry about it. The most important thing with this clear is to get the first coat down nice and skinny. So the way I do that, I put a 1.2 mil on my gun. So this has got the 1.2 Pro Light 
T110 air cap. I hold that gun nice and close and I'm moving fast. And it's it's crazy like ever since I'm doing this, and I have nailed this product by the way. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I've nailed this product and it is the best PPG clear by a country mile. Not just a little bit, it's a lot better. So yeah, get a nice skinny coat down on your first coat. And then I will turn that pressure down a little bit on the second coat. So look at that, we're up at around 38 or so PSI. Get a nice skinny, skinny coat on. That way you actually have a chance of getting even just a little bit of flash off between coats. Because this clear here, it doesn't really want to dry, and this is what I'm talking about. There's a couple of spots there you can see through the base coat. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Usually you wouldn't want to see that with a normal clear, um, but like I say, this clear here it does not want to dry without the heat. So I guess um, putting it on so thin does actually help it dry a little bit to give your second coat something to stick to. Um, but yeah, this clear wants to run. It wants to flow. Right? So if you go and just smash two coats of this on, like you would with a normal clear, you're gonna have a bad time. But yeah, three stage feel. So I actually baked the base coat. I gave it a 15 minute bake. Always try to get the best results as I can. And um, yeah. Giving it a bake definitely improves the gloss retention from your clear coat. Um, using this clear helps the gloss retention too because it is a high gloss clear. Um, less susceptible to dye back. But a big part of your dye back is um, coming from your base coat. So most of it I would say comes from your base coat. Using a high quality clear definitely does make a difference. There we go, that's got another little black bit of shit out. <clears throat> now, we ask the question, if we are going to have enough clear, that nearly sounded like a wrap, Gunny's going to bust out into a wrap, are we going to have enough? Oh, stick to the crack pipe Gunny, hee <laughs> Sorry, go about another 450, it should be enough. Generally I find I use about half as much on my first coat as I do on my second coat. So that's um yeah, I reckon we'll probably just have enough for this job here. <coughs> I bet you that last bit that I just pulled out, I bet you that came off this pot here. I'm sort of a uh, <clears throat> sort of starting to turn away from these PPS pots. They're, I kind of I, I want to like them. <laughs> I want to like you. It just well you can see I put the tape on. That's probably about due for a, a reskin, another layer. Um, yeah. Has that tacked off? No, not really. It's still really fresh. Like, um, <coughs> if that was a normal clear, that you'd, you'd, you'd feel it sort of getting tacky and it would pull the paper up, if you know what I mean. I'll see if we can show you. Yeah, that's just starting to tack off. It's not a heavy tack. If that was a normal clear, it would be pulling up quite tight, but because of it's still, still quite wet because of the nature of this kind of a clear. So second coat, I'll turn that pressure down. I still like to have it a bit higher than usual. It's hard to see on what. So a lot of what I'm doing is just going off feel. A lot of this is just muscle memory. Done it so many times, you just know how fast you need to go. That's good. And 
Yeah, you, like, that will flow, too. You, you nearly need to, like, hold up a little bit with this clear. But like I say, it really, really is worth spending that time with it. Um, and, and yeah, like, a bit of advice is just um, less is more. So I don't like to wind the fluid in on my guns. I find they operate better at full fluid. Um, you can like, just the sand can actually sometimes shrink as you wind the fluid in. So, um, I would generally opt to put a smaller fluid tip on. And to, like, I'd rather put a 1.2 on than to wind in the fluid on a 1.3. Um, if that was my only choice, uh, yeah, I would do it. Like, if the TE20 and the 1.3 was the only option I had, I'd make it work. I could make it work. But I'd rather use the, um, yeah, 1.2 T110. I feel like I'm even still moving a bit faster than I would with like the 136 clear or any other normal sort of clear. So yeah, the beauty of this clear, once you give it a 25 minute bake, and, and truth be told, you don't even need to give it 25 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes is enough. I've heard some people only give it <coughs> like 12 minutes. Uh, personally, I don't think 12 minutes is enough because um, like you want to, like a 12 minute bake probably only going to spend 8 minutes at temperature, if you know what I mean, by the time it heats up. Um, so yeah, 25 minute bake, um, let it cool down, and you can just about get the tungsten and lost scratch in the start, then you can get the same day, no dramas at all. But I was sort of teased, as I left the last shot, I was teased with some very nice clear coats. They've got this extreme clear, which um, it dries without a bake. So they, I, I reckon, it's probably all going to go that way. Yeah, they're calling them low energy. So, yeah, no bake, because, you know, a lot of energy goes into baking a car. So, if you can cut that bag out or cut that bag down, well then you're reducing the energy required. And that's a good thing, isn't it? I don't know. You should just try training yourself to the road. <laughs> oh man, have a look at that. How good is that? It's sexual, I swear, it's sexual. Who needs sex? Oh, who needs that shit, man? When you've got this gun and you've got me, woohoo! I'm gonna go and do this jump. I am um, one of these the other day, well, a couple of months ago actually. One of the legs wasn't clipped in properly, and as I went to move from this to another one, it, it gave way, and I like surfed it down to the ground. That was kind of funny. It could have been, it could have been like breaking neck territory, but. I just surfed it down, my cat-like reflexes kicked in, all those years of skateboarding as a, my misspent youth, I, I flashed back to my misspent youth, and I just kicked the ollie, I did a kickflip, I did a board climb, Are we going to have enough? I think we will. How good is that looking though? Wow. I just got to uh, wet that up just a little bit. That factory has a very nice quiet feel too. Ah, yes. How good is that? And it's clean too, man. That's barely going to even need a buff. One or two here or there. But man, it's good. It is a good feeling. Why are you getting stuck in these stupid pieces of shit? There's really not much room behind there, but I can't move 
I can't move it any further back. The car's all the way up to the front. At least I haven't hit my shin on that tow bar yet this time. I'm sure that any spray trainer will know that, or, or person working with cars will know that feeling. Ah, uh, yeah, boy. And a lot of this, right, the finish comes down to not having too much, uh, oh, sorry, having enough thinner in your base coat as well. I, I, I put, um, 30%, it was actually one of you guys, I think Don Proctor, um, left a comment the other day and he said, hey, man, um, try going 30% reducer in your curls the base coat with the pearl and I did that on this job and yeah I think it I think it helps helps it dry out <coughs> and helps you minimize the orange peel in your clear coat as well I think but yeah like once orange peel's there if you get orange peel say in your primer and you wet on wet primer and you go and doesn't matter how good you are at spraying clear if your primer's got orange, uh, orange peel in it well, your clear's going to as well because the prime is underneath. So yeah, like those under layers are just as important in a way as your clear coat. What would I know? What would I know anyway? I'm just some stupid fucking spray painter talking shit. I don't usually swear, so sorry about that. I hope your kids weren't watching. I usually try to keep this, this channel um, family friendly. <laughs> it just came out. I'm in a bit of a funny mood today because I want to go home. When am I going to have pizza for dinner? Yeah! Um, yeah, so what I do, like, when I'm doing the wet on wet primers and the, uh, the epoxy, because I told you it's bare metal, I mask to here for the primers and then I unmask it and put it through to that next, step it into that next line for the colour so that we don't have the um, the creep of the um, the primer coming up underneath the masking. I did the same thing around these edges too. So yeah, little details like that, mate, makes a big difference. But how clean is that, man? And how's that for paint wastage? Huh, mate. That's nearly like I've done it before. You think you've done that before, eh? Hey? Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna keep that mask on when we do a final flyby. Pro Light Government Edition T110 1.2. That camera is roasting. It feels like it's about to explode. Um, and it's only like still actually winter technically. Ah, uh, have a look at that, guys. Yes, yes, yes. That's 23 years of practice and devotion to the trade. I am a student of the trade. I am a student of the trade. Yes. You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Oh, I'll squeeze through that one more time. So yeah, I'll still give, even though this is the last job of the day, I still like to bake every job. Um, just, I don't know. It's going to get polished tomorrow and put back together. I think it's good. I don't know. Good practice for me anyway. In, in the shop that I work in. Have a look at that guys. Nice and glassy. And three layer pearl. They've grown on me. I never used to like them. 